you open it up with your thoughts on the game today? Yeah. First and foremost, um, just shout out to Coach Tebow and his staff um, for an amazing series. Um, I, honestly, I look up to him in a lot of ways as far as just his organization and how he runs things and how smart he is and <clears throat> everything that encompasses who he is. And so um, just congrats to them. And honestly, very happy with our crew, um, how we performed tonight. We had a lot of great performances from everyone. And um, our starters, plus, you know, Steph with the big rebounds, Ezzy with big big minutes, and just knowing that our team was locked in and focused, um, we will enjoy this one tonight. But then we have to get ready for the next round. Hey, Coach, um, those guys had the best defense in the league, um, but you guys scored 97. It was just so efficient doing it. Do you think it was a matter of just seeing them and just like that, that, that series that after a while you get to figure out a team, I guess? I think so. I think we played them, you know, they were our, our last few games of the season, so we were very familiar about um, just their aggressiveness and, um, you know, how hard they play and how efficient they can be offensively, especially with Della down on the floor. So, um, yeah, they're a very good defensive team, so are we. And I think as of late, though, our offense has picked up and uh, we're finding ways to be efficient from everywhere on the floor, share the ball. Um, and, I, you know, I think that, you know, this is, this is the type of basketball you want to be playing at this point of the season. Uh, both teams shot over 50% from three-point range, but you guys had a 40 to 26 edge and points in the paint. Talk about what you guys did defensively to kind of slow down Shakir Austin and Deladon. I think our activity, um, we switched our scheme today. We didn't jam ball screens with her. We switched um, in that. I think slowed them down a little bit and, you know, switching involves trapping, it involves rotating and I think our activity was great. Um, we talked about Austin early on again, she was very active. We had to box out and rebound and I thought we did a better job with that. <clears throat> and just I think our our poise and, and, and purpose like offensively to understand that um, the three ball is amazing but also to have a variety of what we do and get downhill, get into the pain, and work our mismatches as well. And what would you say is the biggest either takeaways or lesson you've learned from this series against Washington? They're tough. Um, I think for us, um, learning about the resiliency of our team. The, that game one, a um, couple of possessions went their way. Uh, we had good defensive possessions. We had Jewel come on late. Um, and just so, again, for this particular team who hasn't had multiple seasons together, multiple postseasons together, to see how we um, have grown in a lot of ways. And that is not just um, by getting wins, but how we're winning defensively, offensively, and um, just kind of staying the course, staying poised, and, and executing when we need to. Probably won't be able to answer this, but I need to ask Gabby Williams Yeah. Um, in terms of what happened on the court, Brianna Stewart had nine defensive rebounds, and how critical is that in terms of, I'm paying everything else, but how critical is that in the machine of things? We won the rebounds again. And I think we talk about it all season long. When when we're even or, or winning the, the battle of the boards, we, we are successful. Um, you know, Stewie didn't hit shots, but she did everything else on the floor. She was facilitating, she was assisting, and the rebounding was huge for us. Um, there was a point in the game where I felt like, again, we kind of had some some slippage in that area, but um, that just shows who Stewie is. No matter what it is, no matter what we need, she provides that for us. Going back to the offense in terms of the efficiency, familiarity, and now ball movement and spacing, mm -hmm. that what you're starting to see from the team now? Definitely. And I, I just think a comfort with one another, just to know we our, our, our reps came in games a lot of times this year. And we're understanding, you know, timing of who needs the ball, spacing, the cutting. You know, Washington is a heavy nail, heavy loaded team, and the activity on our backside is important. So just that knowledge of getting used to our system and getting used to one another, I think we're, we're finding that groove. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, amazing. I mean, um, just from her, her activity level, um, the pick six that she got uh, defensively guarding Della Don and, and using her length and, and, and getting big rebounds. Um, you talk about just growing up before our eyes, and she's doing that within our, our postseason play. And um, those minutes were s super critical for what we're doing. And the thing – the thing that I know is that because she played all of those minutes earlier on in the season, getting that experience is helping her postseason play. Absolutely. Uh, last one for me. First year, you wore a stunning white outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm real basic, you know, keep the colors simple. <laughs> white, black, you know, just try to make my mom proud and look presentable. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we saw it soon knocking down the three yeah. and then start distributing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked about it before game one. Um, we need her to be aggressive, and it just provides another uh, score. Uh, and now defenses has, have to adjust. You know, a lot of defense have recently have been going under, and she's, she makes them pay. Um, but especially in a time um, where, you know, you're playing a heavy-loaded, heavy-nailed team and whatever they're doing on ball screens, it's super important for Sue to be aggressive and find her groove early. And then we know that she could facilitate. That's always going to happen. But... Um, the points need to come early and often for her. I was going to ask about Sue, too. I mean, 18 points, most she scored all year. 10 assists, most she's had all year. Might have been her best game all season. Mm -hmm. uh, just for her to do that at this time, mm -hmm. this stage of her career, you know, what, what was your reaction to that? Mm -hmm. to do Vintage Sue. I've been a part of it as her teammate and now as her coach to see. Um, it's something about these moments um, that make me understand why she is so great. Um, you see her um, just kick a different gear um, mentally and physically. And, you know, she's she got a pick six herself, came into a passing lane and got a, a layup. And she still has that speed, north to south speed. <laughs> and um, it's just I've, I've seen it time and time again, and it, and it always still impresses me just how she's able to just lock in and, and excel in those moments. No, I was curious to know, um, as you switched up defensive philosophies, um, especially on Deladon, like, what were you kind of weighing there and kind of the pluses and minuses? And I know they, they made 14 threes, but mm -hmm. even though they scored 84 points, it seemed like that was just a more of a manageable type of mm -hmm. performance than having Deladon go off. Yes, Um what we did in game one was jam her, and so Cloud got a lot more aggressive, and Cloud was five for eight from three-point line. And, and what happens when you jam is you live with giving up the three. But I just had a feeling that she was going to be more aggressive game two. All of their guards, we talked about Atkins as well. And um, our switching scheme takes the aggression away from the guard, but also keeps um, our bigger guard on Deladon. And what we were doing was then coming – to, to trap. And what trapping does, is obviously, is get the ball out of her hands. And so just a combination of those elements to take away um, Cloud's aggression going downhill, to keep a body to Deladon, but to know that we're going to come with an extra body. Um, you know, Rui got a, a three early. We'll live with those. Um, and there, there's, there, there, you know, things that we do have to tighten up on our rotations. Obviously, KYP, understanding on closeouts, who's going to drive and who's going to take the three. But at the end of the game, when we had that lead, we stopped trapping because they needed the threes. And so we started to defend the three-point line a little bit more. So just adjusting as the game adjusts, um, especially with a, a prolific scorer like that, you can't give her a heavy dose of the same thing. And, and same with Cloud. Give her a heavy dose of the same scheme. She's going to take advantage of it. Let's take some questions from our Zoom. Um, Christos, go ahead, Christos. Hello, Coach. Congratulations on the win first of all. Thanks, Christos. Uh, It's not easy at all, <laughs> but there is a comfort level, and those three have been through the fire with one another. Um, 
And so um, I I know that in these moments, um, they, there's a level that they get to and they feed off of one another and there's comfort with one another, another to know where they need the ball, when they need the ball. And um, I think each of them impacted the game in their own way, And but that's just who they are. They've been our big three since whenever they will continue to be now in the present <laughs> and whenever and however long we continue. Thank you very much. No problem. With uh, Dorothy. Dorothy, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Thanks for your time. Congrats on the win. Can you talk a little bit about um, what Tina Charles has brought to this team and how she fit into um, the team that, that she brought? Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Pelton says that we're a lot better with Tina Charles on the floor. Um, <laughs> and I trust him and his numbers. Um, and I think. What she's brought is just this um, this edge. Um, she's brought professionalism. She wants to win, um, and she will do anything for us um, that is needed in the game, whether it's rebounding, getting a bucket, defending. Um, and she's been an awesome teammate. So with the addition of, of Tina to have a bucket on the floor at any time offensively is, is great. But where we were deficient earlier in the year with rebounding, I think she's helped a ton with that as well. Thank you. It's going to be a battle. Um, I know I talked about enjoying this one right now, but we're in the back talking about how are we going to stop um, the aces. And, um, you know, they've played great basketball for the entire year. They're solid. They have um, a, a lot of great players. Um, and I, I I know that it is going to be a battle. We will prepare. We will we will in, the, in the best position to win. Yeah, I love it for, for the game of basketball. I love it for the Seattle fans. I love it for our organization. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rafiq. Uh, Jen Hatfield, go ahead, Jen. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you guys have the Uh, yeah, there's something about the postseason that um, Cloud gets to another gear as well. Um, just knowing the moments, she 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 likes these big moments and she prepare, prepares for these big moments. I think her first game, she told us she's all she she was a shooter. So um, she's work on her game, and every year she's gotten better. Cloud in 2018 was super different than Cloud of 2022. That this year, yeah, um, and and you can you can see she's. Um, a leader for that team. She's a heartbeat for that team. And I think um, she knew the, the magnitude of the, to, of the, the moment um, and wanted to step up for her team. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And uh, last on Zoom, Brendan, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. So my first question is, uh, you kind of talked about throughout the season um, how we, we back back or game change things and or have been kind of a chess match or design work at a chess match. Um, was that any sort of Like the upcoming playoff series, is that what was asked? Playoffs in general. Oh, playoffs in general. Yeah, exactly that. Um, those back-to-backs give you an opportunity to, um, you know, not deviate too far from what what, what was successful, um, but to quickly, you know, adjust um, as the game adjusts, as the moments adjust. And um, they, it, it is honestly a very good preparation for postseason play. That's a great question. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we have a lot of time. Um, and, you know, we have to use our time wisely with with rest, with preparation. Um, obviously, you have to throw travel in there. Um, a, a longer series um, means that 
the adjustment, the, there's a lot more that you have to look for, look to. Um, and I don't know. It's I'm, I'm glad that we get the five games to get to, to crack Vegas, to crack the code against Vegas um, because they're so tough. Thanks. Hey, so, you know, just in hindsight, just how in, important was that win and um, uh, I guess the Mystics at their place? I mean, obviously that win gave you the like tiebreaker. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was huge because um, having home court advantage in a 2-1 um, is important to – I don't know if it's considered home court advantage, right? But the two home games that you have are, are very important. And I think, you know, we ended the, ro the the season on the road with the travel. We did not want to go back on the road and continue to play. So that 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 win in Chicago was huge as well. Um, but, you know, knowing that we got the tiebreaker, knowing we, we got that win, we talked about it when we were in D.C., we know that it was important for this moment. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.